Hello there, beautiful people. Welcome back again to On Our Channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes. I'm working for you. So if you have any questions in a video request, make sure to drop on my line a comment. I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. And please be a witness for that because I made over 300 videos now on Shopify customization. They were mostly requested by you guys. And I know some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. I still actually make the video for them. So don't hesitate, man. If you have any video requests or any questions, just drop me a comment below. I will be happy to provide you information you need or even make a video for you. And yeah, you don't have to subscribe or maybe now you should consider doing so because if you don't, you lose. Now it's a very different chapter on this channel. I usually share small customizations, but now I'll be sharing complete sections and widgets, highly customizable to make Shopify store very unique or professional without having to rely on those expensive teams or hire on those expensive developers or even worse, paying all those monthly subscription applications that will drain your money and it's not a very good idea for long-term projects. And this video should give you an idea actually. But I give you a better deal, scroll down to this channel, check out the videos and sections I'm sharing, now let you decide, now I respect your decision. But for now, let me fulfill again another requested video from a subscriber this time, I know he is. So in this video, I will show you how to add collections carousel slider on your Shopify store and not just any carousel slider, you will see that. And if you are a subscriber actually, you would know that. I don't share things that will do the job, just do the job. I share things that will actually make your Shopify store succeed. And subscribers already know that, as I said. And yeah, if you are wondering, this course is completely free. And it takes time to build this stuff, so I would really appreciate if you hit that like button. And leave me a comment below. I do reply to each comment, so I would reply to you. And that will also motivate me actually to share more free things with you guys. Because there's a lot of people who copy the code, make their own videos using my code. And I spend time building this stuff. But anyway, that will motivate me, as I said, to share more free things with you guys and also and make them happy so they can copy more stuff for me as well. And without any more talking, let's just jump to it. As you can see, this is Shopify down team. I always start with completely new team, nothing on it. Each video I add small customizations, but the video like 70 or 60, the team will be completely different. But now I think I've reached that level halfway. For example, check out this scroller logo as you can see with the fade of the corners and once you scroll on it, it stops as me. I mean, the mouse cursor makes a stop and this is optional. You can enable, disable this option or even better, check out the recent sales on your shop. If, come on, it just shows up now, come on. <laughs> Here is recent sales on your Shopify store by using your own custom code again, no applications involved. Do you want to see something that will make you more money? Check this out. As you can see, I added five products to the cart and I didn't check out yet, right? And this is the mouse cursor, right? So I will act just like I want to leave or close the page. And this thing will show up, which is an abandoned cart pop-up reminder that will remind the user how many products he added to the cart and he didn't check out. And of course a button so he can check out and pay you the money he owes you. And this is by using your own custom code again. Now I've been getting a lot of feedback about this code actually. It helped a lot of people. And I'm really happy about that. But yeah, in this video I will show you how to add collections carousel slider. I didn't forget, no worries. So let me close this one. And as you can see, this Shopify store has so many, I mean Shopify down team has so many stuff. I already fully customized. So I will close this one. I will do demonstration on a fresh team actually. So let me close this one and let me access this one down team, which is the same team. And by the way, this code will work on every Shopify team, no matter if it's free or paid one or custom made one, custom made one as I mean. So as long as you use Shopify platform, it will work for you just fine because it uses the uh, Shopify 2.0, the standalone sections uh, architect. So we will do demonstration on a new team as I said. So let me open up in a new tab actually so we'll get back in here and do demonstration on it and this is the team as you can see it has minor customizations i did in videos so we will add the collections carousel in here so we'll keep this page open do the trick come back and see it in app in action so get back to shopify dashboard if you are already in shopify dashboard click on all i saw and click on teams then click on the three dots on left of customize and click on edit code but for my case i'm gonna do it in here because this is the team i'm gonna do demonstration on so simply click on edit code then it will open up the code editor for your shopify team and in here on the left panel, you will see a bunch of files and folders. Simply scroll down a little bit and you will see this file called sections. Simply click on it to be expanded. Then click on the first one that says add a new section. And it will show you this prompt right here so you can name the section. And simply name it collections dash carousel. And it doesn't matter actually what do you name it as long as you name it something unique from the files in here so it doesn't create a conflict. So click on done and it will create some code here by default. Make sure to clear here or remove the whole code in it. Keep it completely empty because we need to paste in our code in here. And where are you gonna get that code? You need to hire a developer, pay him, wait 24 hours, then test the code, then get back to, I'm just joking, scroll that description box, and you will see a link, my website, completely free again. Simply click on it, as I said, completely free, and then download a zip file. Inside that zip file, you will find another that unzip the zip file, of course, and you will find that liquid file. Open it with any text editor on your computer, then copy the whole code inside it, then simply 
paste it in here. That was very simple, right? After that, click on the save button. All, all my tutorials are like this. The only thing you will need in my tutorials are just copy and paste. So even if you're like five years old, you can still do this. So get back in here after you click on save button. Then we will access the team editor, so we will add it because obviously this is a section. So click on customize and after that navigate to the page where you want to add it. In my case I'm going to add it in the home page, so I want to add it in here. So click on add section and after that simply search for collection. Oh yeah, this is a good example. So it didn't show up. Why? Because I moved, I moved too fast and also talked too fast. I apologize. If they didn't show up for you as well, no worries, it's still working. You just have to reload the page. So just reload the page and this is a very good example actually. So if it happens to so you understand that it's not an issue. And after that, let me do it again now and search for collection. And here it is, collections carousel as you can see, this one. Then simply click on it and it will show you an empty carousel of course because we need to add collections. How to add them, very easy. Next, I will show you all the settings they had and explain some very important stuff in here. So first, let me add the collections, how to add them. On the left panel, you will see the section that's added, collections carousel, and below it is the blocks. And blocks are collections. As you can see, it's named, it says collections. So once you click on it, you will see some options on the right of the page, which is collections image, collection title, collection uh, button label, and the bottle link. And this button, so you can enable it if you wanna open the link in a new tab. And that's very good actually if you wanna add the section on the home page. I recommend you to enable this option. So simply you pick the image for the collection to be shown. And this is a bonus thing actually because uh, you can pick which image you wanna show for each category or each collection, that's very good. So I'm gonna add a picture in here. I'm gonna add the supplement. Then the title, I'm gonna name it supplement. And the button I'm gonna keep uh, shop now. And the link, you can actually add any link you want because if you click on it, you will see collections, product, pages, blocks. So this is actually a multi-purpose section, not just collections. So in my case, I'm gonna add collections as the purpose for this video. And footwear, for example, it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna enable this option and click on save and here it will show up. And this is actually interactive, the button, as you can see, you see the button, how it interacts. As I said, I don't share things that will just do the job. I share things that will make you actually more money. So as you can see, this is very good, very professional. Let me add the new collections on the others as well. Then we get back to the settings to explain them clearly. All right, now we're finished. As you can see, I add them all. I add them all the collections. Now the settings. So the settings, the first one is the heading. So the heading title, it shows future collection. You can customize this if you want, as you can see. And this is the background color for the section. In my case, I'm gonna keep it white, same as the Shopify store. And below is the custom phone. Because yes, you can add your own custom phone for the heading actually. You don't, you're not actually tied to the uh, custom phones that's already available by Shopify. You will add your own one. So if you found any phone that you like online, simply download the file, then get back to Shopify files in here. Let me show you that how to do so. Then click on content from the left panel right here. Then click on files and simply drag it and drop it here and it will be uploaded. For example, you see these ones are actually files, phone files these ones. Let me use this one for demonstration. So simply cop uh, copy it using this button right here, then get back in here and paste it in the custom phone URL. And here it is. As you can see, it was added. No complicated stuff you needed. Just a link, copy and, and paste and here it is. And below is the autoplay option. So the option, if you wanna enable the autoplay, so the carousel will keep looping the collections and each five seconds. So if you wanna enable this option, you can adjust the time for each slide, obviously. In my case, I'm gonna keep it same as default. And this is the section padding options, top padding, bottom padding, and mobile padding. So you can adjust the spacing. But I think for me, it looks perfect like this. I'm gonna keep it as default. And below is the typography settings. So the first one is heading size, the heading phone size on mobile. And basically this is based on our subscribers request. They always request different sizes for each mobile and desktop. I got you guys. Here is how to, to resize the heading for uh, desktop alone. And this one to resize the heading for mobile alone. And below is the collection title, which is this one, as you can see, it says here bottles. This is the resizing option for it. And same again, this one for mobile and this one for desktop, as you can see. And this one is the collection button size, this one right here, you can resize it as well. And this is same option for mobile. And below is this space after the heading, I mean, between the heading and the rest of the collection, the carousel. And this one is for the mobile navigation bottom spacing, this one right here. That's all you need. If you, if you want other options to add to this section, just drop me a comment, I will be happy to add that option for you. Then just click on save and get back in here 
reload the page and see how it looks like and here it is as you can see it looks very good it has arrows as well and interactive and the button as you can see interactive everything is interactive I don't build stuff that will do the job, I build stuff that will make your Shopify store unique. But for now, that's how you add collections carousel on your Shopify store by using your own custom code. If you have any questions, make sure to drop them below, but for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching, catch you on the next one.